Here's an album I recorded in 2016, right around the election. Bunch of political jokes, so if you don't like that, too bad. Uh, I just never did anything with it, but now I'm just gonna put it out to you. Enjoy. I'm stressed out lately. My, uh, I got my credit card stolen a little while ago, which isn't a big deal because I'm poor, so. <laughs> Alright, have fun with that. <laughs> uh, my friend got her identity stolen and she's complaining to me about it. She's like, they bought two Bentleys and now I have to pay for it. I was like, you can afford two Bentleys? You bought me a sweater for Christmas. You're a dick. <laughs> If someone stole my identity, I'd complain, but it'd be a much different conversation. I'd be like, they bought two value meals? I didn't know I had that kind of credit. It's crazy if you ever get your credit card stolen, because the bank calls you up, and they start reading off your purchases one by one, which gets embarrassing. Because <laughs> after a while, you got to sit there and be like, no, oh, that was me, actually. Yeah, I mean, they're just, it's like you're on trial, and you're just like, Chipotle, I'm like, yeah. Right, Chipotle again, yeah. Chipotle again, this is the same day. I, you know what? I don't have a girlfriend, leave me alone. The funniest thing is at the end of the conversation, they go, hey, if you ever worried about anything, just give us a call. We can go back up to 60 days and remove any suspicious purchases. And I'm like, fucking all of it, yeah. What? Who says no to that? Now that you mention it, who goes to Chipotle that much? Come on. I'm not that lonely. That plane ticket to Arizona looking suspicious. Who goes there on purpose? I like that half of you are like upset and half of you are like, yeah, witness protection blows. I'm not as poor as I used to be. I don't want to make you feel sad. <laughs> Things are going fine. Um, I actually went to the bank the other day. They asked me if my job offered direct deposit, which is weird because I've had the same bank my entire life. They never asked me that, <laughs> which means this is the first time there's enough money in my account for them to think I'm employed. <laughs> I walked in, they're like, it's not negative? Oh, did someone get a job? <laughs> Do you have direct deposit? You better put that shit in immediately. <laughs> it's weird to be uh, self-employed, because every dollar means more. <laughs> you work so hard for it. Plus, you, I used to be a lot poorer than I am, so every dollar means a lot. I don't know if that makes sense. I, I was on tour for a couple weeks, and I couldn't get to a bank, because Bank of America is the only bank of 13 states in America. <laughs> I, you ever tried to find your bank in a different city? Yeah. Fucking assholes. Uh, <laughs> if it's Bank of America, it should be in America. Fuck you. Anyway, I couldn't get to a bank. I had like three thousand dollars saved up, and like just cash. And I was so nervous to go to the bank. I was like, they're gonna think I'm a drug dealer. <laughs> Can they call that other girl? Maybe she'll be impressed. You know. <laughs> I was like in my room practicing a conversation with the bank. Like, no, 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 all money has cocaine on it. It's not just me. Like, I swear. Don't you read BuzzFeed? You know. So I'm so prepared and so nervous. Then I get to the bank and they're like, yeah, that's fine. That's not a lot of money. You know? And I was like, oh, okay. Or they're just like, we don't care where you get it. Just give it to us and we're going to lose it. Careful.